Hi folks, this is one of my Judge Judy ones, you know, real cases, real people. And just there's a scenario here where we need to find out, for example, if something is current or not. And the criteria we're using for current is if it's basically, you know, in the last two years. Okay, that's basically what our criteria is. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to use today's date, which, surprise, surprise, actually changes every day. And we're going to take the difference between today's date and this date over here, right? And we're going to see, is that difference, you know, less than or equal to, let's say, 720? Okay. And if it's not, okay, if it's basically more than two years in the past, then we're going to say that it's overdue. And then we're going to, so it's current, if it's done the last two years, and it's overdue if it's not. So I click up here, formulas, logical, and if. And then my logical test is going to be, Oops, let me just move this for a second. My logical is going to be, and I'm just going to open my brackets first. Okay, so left bracket, and then I'm going to type in today, open bracket, close bracket, which will return today's date, minus this date here. And then I close my brackets. And I want to say, is that less than or equal to? All right, less than or equal to. And that's going to be my 720. Oops. And then don't forget F4 to press F4. And then if it's true, or again, if you're using a laptop, you need to look for function in F4. Right? And then if it's true, I'm going to say current. Again, remember F4 to lock it. And if it's not true, it's going to be overdue. F4 to lock it. And if you might notice here, it's saying that it's volatile. Volatile, not because it's going to blow up or it's having a bad day, but because today is what they call a volatile function, which means that today today is different from today yesterday and today tomorrow. So I click OK and then I just double click to copy it down. OK, now the other thing that I want to do is if I click up here, go to home, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, and I just put an equal to and I'm going to click on current over here. And I'm just going to choose green fill with dark green text. See that? Click OK. And then I do the same steps again. Conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, equal to overdue. And it's always a good idea just to have the a little sort of legend there for yourself and click on, on that one. All right. So you can see there, and if, for example, if I come over here and I change this, let's say, to 2019, you see there, it immediately becomes overdue. And then I'm just going to use Control Z to undo it. And if, for example, it's 2024, and the course was done, you see there it still remains current, even though it's going into the future. Okay. All right. I hope you found this useful. Mind yourself. Take care. Bye.